upset about danger. What's your racing driver? There we are. There's the view, ladies and gentlemen. That is Sir Jackie Stewart now in the Tyrrell. This is the car of one of his final championship in 1973, the 006. And uh, we are now watching him being applauded as he makes his way out onto the circuit. Here we go. Sir Jackie Stewart is out on track in the Tyrrell at a track which is fundamental to the beginning of his career. That's what's so lovely. He first visited Goodwood in 1953, and he watched his brother Jimmy win a race that day. Uh, he'd driven at Goodwood, he got a little chance to drive, but he got his first ever test with Ken Tyrrell here at Goodwood in a Formula 3 Cooper in 1964, and that was the beginning of the relationship that he got with Ken Tyrrell to go then forwards into Formula 2 and Formula 1. And there's a lot you can see in the, the Stuart movie, a lot of behind the scenes um, bits and some fascinating stuff. And that is, just shows what an absolute megastar he was in that 60s period. And he was the, I would say he was one of the drivers to tr transcend the sport and make sort of Formula One popular just with his personality and, and the way he was around the paddocks. But away from the sport, he always had Lady Helen, you've touched on, on her, by his side. And apparently she used to sit on the pit wall, like many of the wives and did back then. And, and she would time all his laps. So she'd be there right by his side. And so she was obviously a very strong woman as well. He does a lot for, for race against dementia too. Yes, he does, because Helen is suffering the dementia, and that's part of what he's done, has gone into that uh, race against dementia, which is amazing. He's, a, he's 84 now, in fact, I think, the, uh, as we've come into September, and yet he still puts so much effort into so much stuff. He has incredible drive within him, let alone driving skills, and I've always uh, found it remarkable, the sort of stuff that he has done in the past, but then he continues doing. And it's lovely to see him just waving to, to you all, if you're here at Goodwood, enjoying this uh, view, this very special view of Sir Jackie being out there on the track. And if you're watching with us online as well, um, special time. The winner of 27 races. It was the, the maximum at the time. He took over from Jim Clark, who had won 25 races at the top level. Nowadays, of course, it's um, slightly different. Max Verstappen has managed to take 27 wins in 2022 and 2023, and he's up to 47 total now. But there are a lot more races per season than there used to be. There's exactly that as we hear that beautiful roar as he passes down the main straight and people clapping and tipping their hat. And fantastic and just lovely to, to see Jackie out. I'd love to, hopefully we will hear a word from him afterwards. Just must be so emotional for him, Ben. Absolutely, I, and I was just thinking that actually, uh, you know, so many memories that he has, as I mentioned, those first drives, you know, coming here to watch his brother race at Goodwood, then having his first initial drives, having his first relationship with Ken Tyrrell as a result of going out on a test day here at Goodwood. I mean, that must have been an incredible thing, and he must be driving around now, I mean, there must be a part of him that, that remembers all that, you know, from the, 19, the 1960s, um, at, at the really, really wonderful times. Yeah, it is. And the big push that he have, and I've, I've said it before, but the safety, how far the safety has come from the sport. And I think someone said that the stat, that he lost around 50 friends and colleagues through, through, through racing incidents, you know, and he's worked so hard to improve the safety of Formula One. And I, I actually think probably Jackie is the one that we have to thank for, for that sport that we have today. He's the uh, oldest living Formula One winner nowadays and the only world champion surviving from the 1960s. So he's, he's kept it going and, and it, it, his history is absolutely remarkable. As you say, that a driver's safety. In 1973, for example, one of the things that they did that final year when he was racing this beautiful Tyrrell 006, short wheelbase, and it was, it was very much designed to suit him, and it certainly does, there's no doubt about it. Um, it was very effective, also effective uh, with his teammate Francois Sever, but Sever was so tragically killed right at the end of that 1973 season. At the final race, it would have been his 100th Grand Prix for Sir Jackie Stewart, but he, he decided not to race because of the loss of his teammate that weekend, so his total number of Grand Prix uh, stayed at 99. But yeah, grids were, for example, made uh, in 1973 to uh, two on each row, as opposed to stacking them up more closely. That was all part of the safety. They were introducing catch fences, all sorts of things. And he was very much a part of all the, the safety issues that were coming into Formula One from that stage in the late 60s and early 70s. So there we are. Lovely to have some onboard shots as well of Sir Jackie in the beautiful Tyrrell, the, uh, the car that won five races, well, the, the, the two uh, Tyrrells that he was driving that year, 
taking on the championship and uh, it was a, a fantastic year for them. They had some